Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to continue my uh, series of video tutorial for Relay. Okay, guys, so what I have here is a uh, example of a Relay. Okay, now actually there's no base here. Okay, now uh, I would like to show you how a typical Relay works. Okay. Now guys, uh, as I said, first and foremost, you have to know what is the uh, coil of the relay. What is the voltage requirement or the power supply requirement of the coil. So by looking at this relay, so I can see here 24, volt, 24 volts DC, okay? Then the contact rating is around 10 amperes, okay? So meaning... Uh, the contacts, so I have here the contacts, okay, so see, this one is the common, then this one is the normally closed contact, and this is the normally open, then these two here, which is labeled B and A, is the uh, coil terminal, or coil uh, power supply provision, okay, now actually I did some uh, termination here, just to simulate how this relay works okay now guys uh, actually uh, first if you are going to do some simulation please be very careful because you will be working in a live system okay so if you will not be careful you might be uh, electrocuted and it's there's a risk of um, electrocution here okay so my advice never work uh, relay like this. I'm doing this because uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I already done some careful uh, wiring for this one. Make sure that there will be no short there. Okay. But anyway, this is just a temporary. But as an advice, work on a relay with a base so that the terminals are or the pins are not exposed. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to do this just to. Uh, simulate the operation of this. By the way, this is a 24 volts DC. Okay, so I already have here the negative, uh, the negative and the positive for my 24 volts DC. Okay, so I have a uh, transformer which can uh, produce a 24 volts DC. Okay, now let me show you this one. Okay, as you can see, this round thing here is the coil. Okay. So as you can see there, somewhere there, uh, that thing, round thing, is the one that will magnetize the contact, okay? So as you can see here, we have there the normally closed contact. I hope it is visible, okay? So that is the normally closed contact. Then this one is normally open. So this is the contact which is changing from normally open and normally closed. So the middle... Uh, copper thing is the one changing based on the uh, energizing of the coil okay so when it this coil is not energized then the contact is uh, touching the normally closed contact which is this one okay when this one is energized then this coil will create magnetism then it will uh, magnetize this contact then this contact will uh, be connected to the normally open contact okay so we have there the common the normally open and the normally closed contact okay so we have two sets of uh, normally open and normally closed contact case likewise uh, we have there the common okay so this is the common then we have here the normally open okay as you can see this middle contact is touching the normally closed contact okay so when it is de-energized uh, this contact is connected to the normally closed when it is energized this uh, coil it will produce magnetism then it will magnetize this uh, this metal then it will uh, connect this middle contact to the normally open contact okay so, I have prepared one simple uh, electrical wiring here. So, one of the use 
of a relay is to turn on an equipment. So in this case, we are going to turn on a 220 lamp. Okay, so I have here a bulb which is a 220. So the one of the uses of a relay is for switching. Okay, so when you energize the coil, it can switch on a device. This time, I'm going to show you how this relay is going to turn on the light. So meaning you can use also relays to turn on several lights. Okay, so that will be our... Uh, experiment for today just to show you how this contact will move from normally closed to normally open when this is energized so again let me repeat the first thing you need to know is the uh, coil power supply so in this case 24 volts DC okay so I have a transformer to 20 to 24 volts DC so meaning this is a 24 volts DC. One positive and one is negative. Okay. Now, actually, the terminal here labeled is A and B. So, as you can see, A and B corresponds to the coil. Okay. Then, my terminal, uh, my pin 9 is the common. Then, uh, 5 is normally open. Then, 2 is normally, I think, 3 is normally closed then 6 is normally open okay then 9 is norm uh, common then another here i have here the uh, 1 is normally closed then 2 uh this one is i guess this is 4 so 1 is normally closed then 4 is normally open then 7 is the common okay so our experiment when we energize this we will going to turn on this lamp, okay? Now, again, if you want, we can test the terminals or the pins, okay? By using this uh, multimeter, then put it in a continuity, okay? So, this is the common and this is the normally closed. As you can see, you can hear the continuity sound. So, this is the normally open. Normally closed normally open so normally close normally open okay so that's one of ways you can check the terminals or the pins which one is normally close and which one is normally open and which one is the common again let me do it so this is the common then this is the normally close okay you can hear the continuity sound then this is the normally open okay so, as I said, we are going to use this uh, switch to turn on a device. So, that is one of the uses of a relay. So, meaning from low voltage, when you supply a low voltage here like 24 volts DC, then you can turn on an equipment or a device or an electrical uh, lamp. Okay. In this case, I have here an electrical lamp. Or a bulb which is 220 so meaning so my 220 is connected to the common okay so this is my 220 then the normally open contact I connect it to the terminal of my bulb then the common the neutral or the neutral of my 220 is directly connected to the bulb okay so it's just like I'm cutting the 220 in this uh, terminal okay so this is 220 when it is energized then these two thing do these two terminals will be closed okay so 220 will flow from my power supply then it will flow here then it will go to my lamp okay so let's try to uh, let's try to turn on our uh, lamp using the uh, relay okay now guys I want you to focus here how this one will transfer okay so I will turn on my breaker okay then okay as you can see guys uh, I hope you will see now the contact the middle one is now is touching this 
normally open contact. So, 220 will flow from the uh, common. Then, as you can see, this is my common. Then, the 220 or the current will flow out of this normally open contact. will go to my uh, lamp. Okay, so let me turn it up again. Okay, you can watch the... Okay. Now, there is some time delay there because my transformer, uh, when you re remove the 220, there are still 224 volts in the uh, transformer, even though there is no more 220. Okay, so that is a good uh, transformer. Okay, so again, I will turn on my device through this relay. Okay, as you can see, you can hear also the clicking of the contact. When it changes from normally closed to normally open. Okay. From normally closed, when you energize it, that normally closed will open. Then the normally open will close. So you can hear the clicking sound. That is when the contact is changing from normally closed to normally open. From normally open to normally closed. So let me repeat it again. Okay. So there is some time delay there in my uh, transformer. Okay. So, as you can see now, the relay is the energized again. It will go to the uh, normal position, which is uh, normally closed contact. Okay, so normally closed when it is not energized, then, then that contact will open, then the normally open will close. So, let me do it again for you. Now, I want you to check. Okay, maybe I can show you this one. Okay, I can show you this. So, you will see how the contact is changing. Okay. So, I hope it is visible. Let me remove. Okay. There is some time delay. Actually, the transformer, there are still 24 volt. Even though there is no more 220 in the primary side of the transformer, but still there are still few seconds, uh, 24 volts DC in the uh, output okay because the output of that uh, step down transformer is 24 volts DC okay so that is a, like a converter uh, from AC to DC okay again let me do it okay as you can see the changing of the contact so the purpose of this relay is just to turn on a device or a lamp okay so again let me turn on Okay, so you can see the changing of the contact. Okay. So guys, uh, I hope uh, the simple test will give you an idea. First, what is what are the different uses of relay? Okay. So again, let me show you. Now this time, I hope it it will be clear. Okay. So, as you can see, the contact is changing, okay? Now, uh, as I said, there is a little time delay there because of the transformer. Again, let's do it. Okay, so you can hear also the clicking of the... Okay, so guys, uh, if you are doing some experiment, be very careful if you are using... Uh, 220 volts okay because you, you should be very careful if you are doing such uh, experiment okay now uh, this is not advisable way of testing it but uh, since I don't have the I don't have the base of this relay and I want to use this relay because uh, it is transparent we can see clearly the uh, contact position there okay so this now is in normally closed position when it is energized it will transfer from that normally open contact okay as you can see there okay okay so it go back to the original uh, position okay so again guys uh, that is a very simple testing of relay i do hope new engineers and new technician they already have an idea how relay works okay now actually as i said one of the uh, uses 
of a relay is turning on an equipment. This time I have shown you it is turning on light. So meaning uh, if you have a timer and you have a series of uh, let's, let's say you have a, a perimeter lightings, then you can use also this kind of relay to turn on all these lights. Okay. So again, thank you for joining me in this simple tutorial. I do hope uh, I have given you some idea how relay works. And again, if you are new to my channel, please help me uh, promoting my channel by subscribing. You can also click the notification bell. And before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.